If your videos aren't getting pushed right now, it's probably because you don't have the five settings turned on that I'm going to share with you in this video. Because if you are making great content, but it just isn't getting pushed, it's because these settings are messed up. And if you never fix these settings, your videos are never going to get pushed, no matter how hard you work at creating content on YouTube. In fact, I just helped this creator change these settings and this creator change these settings, and both of them then blew up on YouTube. And the same exact thing can happen to you so long as you don't skip any of these. Now setting number one is actually a brand new feature that YouTube just came out with. So you need to hop on this because if you know anything about YouTube, whenever they release a new feature, the creators that hop on it the fastest are the ones that get the most growth. So now when you go to upload content on YouTube, you are going to see AB testing is now available for titles on YouTube. Now, what does this mean? If we click on this right here, you can now test two different titles. You need at least two if you're gonna do an AB test. So you can test two or you can test three. And what you should be doing this for is to figure out what title is actually working best. Now, please do not run a thumbnail AB test. This is actually going to hurt you because YouTube then optimizes for the wrong thing. And I would not do a title and thumbnail A-B test. Instead, I would only do title A-B test. And you need to use at least two or three titles. And this is going to allow you to see what title formats work best, what keywords work best. And this is going to reveal what your ideal audience actually wants to watch when you upload something onto YouTube. And if you come over to some of the top creators on YouTube, you'll see that they are doing this all the time. For example, if we pull up Mr. Beast right here, and we click into his latest video, we could see that he has actually been testing other thumbnails and we could see that he recently updated his thumbnail. And if you come into other YouTubers, you're gonna notice the same exact thing. They're constantly A-B testing thumbnails. They're constantly swapping thumbnails and titles out. And this is leading to them getting more views. And now you could do the same exact thing with your title. In the past, you needed a fancy software to be able to do this, but now you don't because YouTube gives us the option to do it. Setting number two is something I've been talking about a lot, but I realized you actually have to turn on a setting in order to get this to help you to go viral. Here's what I'm talking about. Now what I'm talking about is making sure that you have the right settings on so that people can actually hype up your content. In fact, this is a brand new YouTube channel that I started this year that's been blowing up. We can see right here in just 20 hours, I got almost 13,000 views. And this video is probably gonna go on to get even more views. And one of the reasons for that is if I come into my settings right here, I click on channel, I come into advanced settings, and I scroll all the way down, I'm going to see hype right here. You need to make sure that this is turned on. This allows viewers to hype up your videos at no cost to them three times a week. Guess what happens when people hype up your content? If we come over into analytics, click on advanced mode right here, come over into metrics, and I type in hype points, check this out. When people hype up your content, your videos get way more views. I got hype points on this, 44,000 views. I got hype points on this, 73,000 views. I got hype points on this, 48,000 views, and this it's just in the last 28 days. If we expand this a little bit, we will see the same exact thing. Every single time videos get hype points, they end up getting a lot of reach. And that's one of the secret settings that you need to make sure is turned on. In addition to that, I would strongly suggest that you tell your audience that if they wanna hype you up, that they should click it if they see it because it's really going to help you out. In fact, it helps you more than people sharing your content, than people subscribing, than people liking, or even than people commenting. This is the most important metric you could ever optimize for. Now setting number three is something that really separates pro YouTubers from beginner YouTubers. Because if you're just relying on YouTube's platform to give you good ideas or help you come up with titles or anything like that, you're going to get left behind because the pros, they're actually cheating by using something else. Now the tool that I'm talking about is what you're going to see up here. It's going to be vidIQ. So this basically is like having steroids on YouTube. And no, it's not illegal. It's actually allowed, and if you're not using something like this, you are just not operating as well as you could be. So let's say that you were going to make a video and you were going to make a video about the Philadelphia Eagles. So if we come over here, we type in Philadelphia Eagles, and yes, this literally works for any type of content and for any niche. We type in Philadelphia Eagles, we click on filters right here, click on load videos, and we actually refresh this right here. This is now going to show us all content related to the Philadelphia Eagles. And we can filter this however we want. For example, we could sort this by views per hour right here. This will show us which videos are getting the most views per hour. 
We could filter right here to only show small channels with less than 25,000 views, or we could expand this a little bit and it will show us more channels. We could expand this based on views per hour, based on outlier score, based on when it was actually published. And basically what this allows you to do is instead of looking at YouTube's results right here, this allows you to actually spy and see what videos are actually doing the best on YouTube that YouTube might not actually show you. And then this will show you what titles are working the best, what thumbnails are working the best, what topics are working the best without you having to do any other work. In addition to that, when you have FitIQ, look at how YouTube looks when you go to upload something now. Let's say that we go to upload this video right here. You could see that VidIQ is giving me more title suggestions. VidIQ is going to automatically right here generate descriptions for me and vidIQ is automatically going to tell me what tags I should be using in my content and this makes it way easier for you to be able to upload the right content that YouTube actually wants to push out and the value of vidIQ doesn't stop there because guess what if you go over to vidIQ.com and again every pro YouTuber is using this, you will be able to click on optimize right here and optimize all of your past content. You could click on this, it gives you new title ideas, new thumbnail ideas. You could get a content score, which actually has this go through, watch your video and tell you what you can improve next time. In addition to that, if you come over here to discover, you could find what keywords are trending for your channel. They give you daily content ideas. It allows you to spy on your competitors right here. You could submit your videos to get human feedback. And if you click on create, this allows you to very easily do all of the things that it mentions right here with AI. For example, I use this to script out every single one of my videos because their AI scripter is absolutely amazing and they also have this AI coach right here where this is basically ChatGPT, but it has your YouTube channel's data and can do a bunch of different things for you. For example, it can audit your channel for you or give you feedback on your latest video. And the best part about vidIQ is you can go to the pinned comment below right now and get started with it for only $1. This is an absolute no-brainer. vidIQ is going to help you get monetized faster on YouTube, get more subscribers, get more views. Like I was saying before, if you're not using this and your competitors are, you're at a massive disadvantage. So please don't let $1 be the difference between you getting the growth that you want on YouTube versus you continuing to struggle. Go to the pink comment below and register for it right now. I would have never gained over 800,000 subscribers if it wasn't for vidIQ. Now, for those of you that already are monetized, this next setting is incredibly important. And if you're going to get monetized in the future or your goal is to get monetized in the future, you need to make sure that you know about this also because this could be the difference between you making a lot of money from uploading on YouTube or you struggling to make money. And again, this is kind of a hidden setting. Now here's where that setting is. If you come into your settings right here and then you click on upload defaults, monetization, you are gonna see this right here. Please make sure that this is clicked on. If this isn't clicked on, YouTube isn't putting enough ads in your video, and it could actually be destroying how much money you make on your channel. For example, if we come to this video right here, we click into details, we click into monetization, click on manage ad slots. I didn't have to put these in here. YouTube automatically put them in because I had that button checked. So please make sure that's checked because literally just for uploading this video right here, I made almost $100. In fact, I'm gonna make even more than that because people keep watching this video so this video will probably make me hundreds of dollars and it would have never done that had I not had this setting on. Now setting number five is probably one of the number one things that I see actually hold back small channels on YouTube. Even if you're making great content, if your title and your thumbnail aren't clickable, it's why you're not getting the reach that you want. In fact, you need to be getting over a 10% click-through rate in order for YouTube to actually push out your stuff and here's how you could solve that. Now a perfect example of how to fix this is going to be my client, Dr. Jones. So if we look up Dr. Jones right here, this guy struggled for a long time until we fixed this one thing. So if we come over to his content, you could see before I worked with him, a thousand views, 500 views, 2000 views, thousand views, 1600 views, 300 views, very inconsistent, never doing that well. But if you look at once I started working with him, 75,000 views, 17,000, 40,000, 200,000, 145,000, 128,000, 125,000. He's gone viral now almost a dozen times. And the reason for that is because we made his thumbnails clickable. And I want you to notice something. We are not recreating the wheel here. This video and this video, almost the same exact thumbnail. Both of them did really well. Same exact with this video, also went viral. This video, this video, 
this video, and if we scroll up, even more videos, the same exact thumbnail. We're just changing out one or two elements, and you need to do the same exact thing in your content if you really want your content to get pushed. If you wanna get more views, than you could have ever imagined, and you wanna get monetized on YouTube faster than you could have ever imagined, you need to make sure the thumbnails that you are uploading are not recreating the wheel. Instead, they're just making a better version than what already exists. For example, if I come over here and I type in Ozempic diet, and then I filter this, we can see that this creator did this thumbnail. So guess what we did? We just took it and made it even better by making things brighter, by making things bigger. And that's exactly what you need to do if you wanna grow faster on YouTube. You need to stop recreating the wheel and you need to start just using titles and using thumbnails that stick out. Because if nobody clicks on your video, well then guess what? Nobody actually watches your video. So that is actually way more important than the video itself. Now, if you wanna grow faster on YouTube and get monetized the same exact way I just helped this creator do it and this creator do it, well, please stop wasting your time trying to figure out things by yourself. In fact, I wanna help you one-on-one -on -one to help you figure out things quicker. And I don't just wanna help you figure things out. I wanna tell you exactly what to do so that YouTube is incredibly easy for you because the worst thing that you could do right now is waste your time during the easiest time ever to get views on YouTube, get subscribers, and ultimately to get monetized because this is a golden age right now. And if you let this opportunity pass you by, you might not be able to get monetized a month from now or a few months from now. So please, if you're ready to take action, let's work together one-on-one -on -one where I can guarantee you grow faster on YouTube. If that sounds interesting, well, please check out this video right here. But I will give you one warning. I'm only one person, so I can only work with so many people. So once all the slots are filled up, I'm not gonna be able to take on any more clients. So if you're interested in this and you wanna get guaranteed growth on YouTube and work with me one-on-one -on -one so you could grow faster and stop wasting your time, check out this video here.